Hey everybody, uh, this is Anthony Lagunzad, your Hardy Public Affairs Specialist. And I'm Brandon, your Member Services Guy. Yeah, so we're starting a brand new Member Spotlight campaign where we're going to highlight individuals from our member companies who are doing some outstanding things either at their companies or uh, on behalf of the HVACR industry as a whole. Um, now for our first ever Member Spotlight, we have Scott Ritchie with us today. He's the Vice President of Plumber Supply Company, a plumbing and HVAC distributor uh, based out of Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, Scott, how are you today? Doing great, Anthony. All right. Great. Having fun. Having fun. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so are we. Uh, first one, let's, let's kick it off. Uh, yeah, so Scott, I like to really come out uh, guns blazing. What are you currently binging on Netflix right now? Believe it or not, West Wing from 10 years ago. So, uh, so let's see, we're on season uh, 6, episode 8, so one season to go. We're a little behind the times in Kentucky. <laughs> hey, I just binged that series last year. I love it. I wish they had more. They got to they gotta, they gotta come up with a more modern one, you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, so Scott Hardy, you know we're we're such a big proponent of uh, you know our distributor members building on their relationships with their contractor customers in in meaningful ways. Uh, and when we heard that you had just wrote and published a book as a how-to manual for a contractor success, uh, you know we knew we had to you know share what you were doing with the Hardy community. Uh, you know, so for that said, uh, can you tell us a bit about your new book, uh, Make More Money: Twelve Profit Pillars for HVAC Contractor Success? Sure. Uh, well, you know, it's uh, been a love of mine to, to try to write a book. You know, people talk about it. Here's the amazing thing. 86% of people say they want to write a book. 14% do. And I will tell you, I understand now why. It's, 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 a, it's a long journey and it's a difficult, a uh, lot of late nights and, and putting it together. But the passion behind it was I've been in the industry for 32 years and in 32 years, the same um, uh, common concern that I have for the industry hasn't changed and that's the contractors ability to remain profitable and stay in business um, make more money is a, a book by the way you went number one best-selling book uh, on uh, Amazon a couple weeks ago so I was pretty excited about that it's a book that takes the guy from the journey of hey the first thing that you have to reckon like anybody who has um, an issue or a problem you have to first recognize that you have it right so the book starts off by saying look if no one knows you have a problem no one can help you and so they have uh, always struggled they're great technicians but they kind of struggle in the business acumen side so I thought if you know distributor uh, anybody that that's helping them can help them find resources or the know-how to to make more money to run a profitable business uh, to put in place operational steps to make them profitable, then we would have uh, better customers, right? We wouldn't have to be worried about their financial problems affecting our financial problems as distributors. And they would have much more success. And I think and anytime you're having success in anything, you're having more fun. So it's just helping them have more fun in the risk that they're taking. Oh, yeah. And, you know, that's, that's something we hear about a lot is that, you know, our contractor customers or our distributors and you know the, the business acumen side that you're talking about um yeah we we hear that on our side too and uh you know we, we can't agree that this is a huge issue that we need to you know put more attention on uh that said can now what got you to this point of you know finally putting pen to paper on uh you know this subject and uh can you walk us through your process i think it, it looks like you co-authored the book maybe with the contractor tell us how it all came together okay uh well, well, for me, um, as I said, I always wanted to. And so two years ago, I tested myself by writing for um, a publication, a trade publication, uh, Supply House Times. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but I felt if I could make deadlines uh, for them, then it would force me into writing and be able to stay on, on task. So I did that for a year, wrote several articles for Supply House Times, and then decided, okay, let's launch the book. Uh, the co-author, Gary Kearns, is a very successful uh, add-on replacement contractor. He does some light commercial. Gary and I have known each other for 19 years now. Um, and uh, he had a good background. You know, we worked together. He learned a lot of the concepts in the book. Uh, and so I used him as my mentor in terms of bouncing off numbers, ideas, hey, this is what I'm researching, this is what I'm finding, does this actually happen in your business? 
And so he was my sounding board to help me with the project and uh, make sure that there was accuracy in the book. I, if I was going to write a book, I wanted to be as accurate as you could, right? So you can pull out all kinds of statistics, but if you can go research and find them and have actually someone testing them and measuring them for you in the field, it made the, the, board, the, the book more credible. So that's where Gary's relationship was as, as the co-author. Absolutely. And that's, yeah, that's, that's an incredible approach. And uh, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Good stuff. Nice. Nice. So, Scott, a little follow-up to my uh, question. You know, as we're you know, binge-watching uh, West Wing together, um, what kind of steak do you like and uh, how do you like it cooked? Well, it, it's funny you should ask that. Uh, that's what I had last night, and uh, my favorite steak is the uh, 12-ounce ribeye medium rare. And uh, if spice is the more spice, the better. But uh, that's my favorite steak. Nice, my my man, Scott, my man. <laughs> that's a, that's a one of my favorites as well. I try and whenever uh, whenever Hardy's taking us out to dinner, I always try and opt for the for the prime, you know, either prime rib or a nice ribeye. Uh, yeah, but you guys go to like Ruth Chris and places like that, right? I mean, you're on the high end, you know. Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an outback. They're actually getting that wagyu flown in for for me personally. They they found out I'm a big wagyu oh, guy. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Great. All right. So rolling right along here, uh, I got another one for you. So, you know, as you know, legacy is the theme for Hardy Annual Conference this year. And, uh, you know, it's all about carrying on the legacy of those that came before us while also, you know, forging our own for future generations that come after us. Now, the company history for Plumber Supply Co. Uh, on your guys' website says that it's now a fourth generation company. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. So through the, the Worst family with, uh, with uh, John J. Worst the, the third as chairman and Jay Johnson as president and COO. Now, can you tell us about what makes this company so special and successful to achieve this lasting legacy, uh, you know, and get to the fourth generation club and, uh, you know, how do you apply it, you know, in, in your experience of working with them uh, to all the great stuff that you do there on behalf of the company? Sure. That, that, that's a great question. What do we do? Um, one, we invest in a lot of training. In fact, right before we did this interview, I was with uh, some the sales executives in the company, branch managers, and probably 10 of the sales team members doing some training, but the training was really looking into the future. What do we, what do we want to look like in three years? And so we were rolling out to them, I think the innovative ideas that we're going to go do differently um, that our competitors don't do. And I can share a little bit of those with you in a second. Um, but you know, you have to be a good distributor first to have any clients. So what is a good distributor? We call it doing the table stakes right, okay? Delivery, do you have really good delivery services? Do you have high availability? You know, are you priced competitively? I mean, you gotta check off those boxes before a contractor is, is you know, gonna do business with you, right? Because if he's looking to switch a brand or, or come to your distributor and do business with you, he wants to know, am I gonna get at least what I had before, right? Are the table stakes covered? And we really take pride in, in doing that. In fact, um, we offer a unique guarantee that no one else does. Um, it's called Delivering on the Promise. And we deliver on three key promises uh, for them. Uh, the first one is 100% order accuracy. And you may say, wow, how do you do that? That's, that's really tough. Well, let me tell you, it is really tough. But when you're focused on it and you're measuring it every month and you can see scoreboards, uh, the team understands this is an important thing to do. And so we, we focus on that. The other item was uh, uh, 200, top 250 items in stock all the time, guaranteed. So we went out and asked our clients, you know, you know and we did the research on our buying you know, behaviors on our own um, computer software. And then we went and asked them, hey, what's, what's important to you? And we tried to, to mesh the two together. And we came up with the top 250 items that we will never be out of. And so again, you're sending a message. If, if you're wanting availability, we have it. This is, this is what we have. And, and the third was guaranteed on time will call. And what I mean by that is if you called an order in and say it was uh, five lines and it's nine o'clock, we'd say, hey, you can come at nine ten and pick that up, it'll be fine. But if it's a hundred lines, you will say, hey, that will be ordered by 1030 that order will be ready so but it's guaranteed that when they do come at that specified time that we said the order would be ready so their guys aren't wasting any time it's there for them and they can pick it up and go so that's called delivering on the uh, on the promise and that's an area where we're uniquely different than our competitors so that's one thing that we're doing 
Definitely. But you go and you look at the book. We do a lot of financial uh, consulting and management. We have a team that, that helps our contractors actually do that. I put on <clears throat> a lot of workshops. Uh, and it's funny that you say legacy. If I can use the, the legacy theme here, uh, it answers the book as well. You know, at some point in time, Scott Ritchie won't be at Plumber Supply, as you can tell, right? We're, we're, we're graying and, and there's other life out there after a career. And so I thought, what better way than to leave a book that TMs, and every TM should have this book. I, and I, I say that because if they really want to be good consultants and understand <clears throat> what the business is for an HVAC contractor, how it works, how to make one grow, how to make one be profitable, marketing ideas, all that's in the book, it's left behind. It's the legacy left behind that they can have that book, keep learning it. And then every contractor should have the book. And then they have this reference guide that they can keep going back to to make sure that they're going in, in the same direction that, that the distributor wants them to go, they want to go. And it's all geared around growth and profitable growth. And those two things are important, by the way. You can have growth, but if it's not profitable, it does no one any good. So we, we are trying to get profitable growth for the contractors. So that's another thing that we do differently. Um, you know, we're looking at all kind of different ideas right now from website designs and things like that for our contractors um, uh, to compete with Angie's List, people like that. We're, we're looking in that direction of how do we create lead generation. And uh, we're working with a company, uh, Reset Strategies, which I, you guys might have uh, heard of or, or know about. And uh, they have technology that can capture it's amazing technology. It's kind of scary, actually. But if you go visit a website and you don't leave a profile, you don't type, you know, your name and all that contact information, they still have this technology knows who you are, how tall you are, what you weigh, um, what your buying behavior is. And it's capturing that where immediately we can send an email out to that that consumer who was inquiring at that dealership's uh, our website that we use or the dealership's website and, and funnel that lead to them uh, to where they can uh, interact differently, you know, get a direct mail piece out right away or whatever. So that is really a uh, cool technology. And some of the other things that we're looking like at, at like the rest of the industry is truck stock, things like that, truck stock programs and, and whatnot. But I guess our focus is the value add that we want to give a contractor is to really make them a better business person and all the tools and technology they need to do that today and compete in today's market just rather than just table stakes. So I think why we're, why we're fourth generation, we're always constantly trying to outthink everybody and stay a step ahead of the game of what contractors will need three years from now. What will they look like? What will be their challenges? And how as a distributor can we, can we address those? Yeah, wow. So, so Brandon and I, we we joined Hardy about the same time. We've both been uh, in the industry. We were new to the industry when we joined. It's been uh, you know almost two years now for uh, for both of us. Um, and you know, I'll, I'll say the number one thing that I hear from our distributor members that their main focus is always on you know the customer service aspect. That's what that's you know that's that's what we hang our hat on. That's what we have to in our industry. And you know, it sounds like you guys are, are so on top of it with so many things that you guys have going on. And uh, you know, that's that's fantastic to hear. So you know, great for you guys and Plumber Supply Co. Um, well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, last question for you before we uh, let you go. Um, kind of in terms of, of talking about legacy. So one guy, you know, he's fictional, but he's a, you know he's a legacy uh, character all his own. Uh, Rocky Balboa. You know, one of my favorite one of my favorite guys of all time. What's your what's your favorite Rocky movie? Oh, the original. I mean, because the the original was the true story of of where his life was in shambles, and you know, you know, even though he tries to be a good guy and work hard, he's never had that break in life to be successful. And I don't care who you are, uh, you can be, you know, big part of, of of being successful. I think, especially for me, is luck. You know, right place, right time, right connection that you made with somebody. Um, and so to, to me, it's, it's, the, it's the perfect story of rags to riches, but not through someone giving it to him. Just if he had the opportunity, he would work his butt off to get there. And he had the belief in himself that he had to do it. 
And, and I think that's what makes people successful. I mean, you can have all that, but if you don't get that opportunity uh, and, and, and recognize that it's time to you know, take advantage of that opportunity, I think people sometimes fail and aren't as successful as they could be because uh, of that factor. So Rocky, you know, had all the grit, it rags the riches, and, and really um, he had determination and he just had to have someone believe in him, and that was Mick. I couldn't agree with more, man. That was a, it's actually a great, it's a really, it's a great answer. I mean, Rocky's, uh, you know, true grit, you know, coming up from, from nothing and, and building that uh, stuff up. Uh, I'm a fan of Rocky Four. I don't know, maybe because it's uh, James Brown and his, uh, and the Apollo Creed uh, uh, duo sing, uh, singing, but uh, no, uh, I, I love your answer. I, I'm probably going to steal your answer and, and use it for other, other conversations. So appreciate that. How about I, you know, I just say we can co-author the answer. And... <laughs> yeah, there we go. How about that? All right. Absolutely. Well, hey, uh, once again, Scott Ritchie, Vice President of Plumber Supply Company out of Louisville, Kentucky. Scott, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk with us today. Yeah, thank you. First of all, thank you guys for, for inviting me to this and, and let me be in Spotlight. And uh, thanks for the interview. Thank you very much. All right. And uh, for everybody else in Hardy, uh, if you see Scott at one of our uh, you know, upcoming events, uh, be sure to say hi and ask him about uh, you know, his book or Rocky. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Scott. All right. do, do appreciate it.